right and special right triangles, a la schmo. Put down your chainsaws, because the annual Lumberjack Ball is tonight. Unfortunately, Lumberjack Bill, the one who can never get a date, decided to steal the Lumberjack Dancing Square the night before, leaving the poor Lumberjacks to rebuild the whole thing before tonight's ball. Here's what the square looked like last night. The Lumberjack Waltz requires there to be a distance of four between point B and point D. Knowing the length B prime D prime is four, what is the length of a side of the square A, B, C, D? Here are your choices. Well, to start, it helps to know that squares have four right angles and four equal sides. Since angle D is in the corner of square A, B, C, D, we know it's a 90 degree angle. Zoom in on triangle B prime, D, D prime. We know it's a right triangle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve it. We know it's hypotenuse, but not its two side lengths. Whatever will the lumberjacks do? Since A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime is also a square, we know that angle D prime is also 90 degrees. Angle D, D prime, C is a straight angle, so it has a measure of 180 degrees. Subtract 90 degrees for angle B prime, D prime, C prime, and we only have 90 degrees to share among the two smaller side angles. Splitting them up evenly, each angle gets 45 degrees. If we do that with all the angles, we'll see that our triangle B prime D, D prime, is a special right triangle, a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Since both its acute angles are congruent, we know the lengths of its legs are also congruent. Good thing too, otherwise square dancing would be a big mistake. Now we can use the Pythagorean theorem and replace both A and B with the same length, X. That's the wonderful thing about 45, 45, 90 triangles. If the length of the leg is X, the hypotenuse will always be equal to X times the square root of two. We're looking for the side of the big square ABCD. If we look at the picture, we know that D prime D is the same length as D prime C. So we just have to multiply two root two by two. That gives us four times root two. So, long story short, if it isn't already too late, our answer is D. Now those lumberjacks can rebuild their perfect square and get ready to dance. Swing your chainsaw round and round. Subscribe to check out more equally fantabulous videos. You should see the subscribe button just below this one. If you're having trouble locating it, we recommend you watch our video how to find the subscribe button.